A reconciliation run. Once bitter rivals, now allies. Ethiopia and Eritrea fought a war between 1998 and 2000 that left about 80,000 people dead. Since Ethiopian Prime Minister Abe Ahmed took over in April, the neighbors have restored diplomatic ties, resumed flights and reopened borders. A move analysts say should not be undermined. This time, the vision of the leadership, the willingness of the two peoples and countries to work together, the opportunities that are lined up in front of them make them more for formidable than they were in the past. The intervention that was seen in the past in creating this division and war and conflict between Eritrea and Ethiopia by external powers will be more challenged, I think, this time. Because this time, I think the Horn of Africa is set to work for itself. Ethiopia and Eritrea are both optimistic. For Eritrea, far less military expenditures that was necessary for the defense of its sovereignty will entail positive ramifications for rapid growth of its economy. Lifting of the sanctions will open up investment and the tourism. Many tourists can be lured to visit Eritrea. There are um, occasions that this uh, peace development has been taken for granted. <coughs> and uh, this is, I think, the starting point where we should really put a heavy weight of the arguments between these two nations. We may not uh, need to dwell too much what the peace is bringing to these nations. It's very clear and uh, uh, it's very much understood. Wherever we are and uh, wherever we land, uh, if there is no peace, then there are several issues that can be discussed. The leaders of Somalia and Eritrea recently held discussions with the Ethiopian Prime Minister to cement the outcome of the Horn of Africa Economic Integration Agreement. The three also met in September to lay the groundwork. While in South Africa, the Ethiopian president emphasized the importance of maintaining peace with the neighbors. Uh, as a diplomat of my country, I mean, there are things which you would think it's impossible, like you know, a normalization uh, with Eritrea so fast in a short period of time. But it happened. And uh, it, you go beyond that. You elevate it to a, a certain level that those issues that were, you know, mm -hmm. between you and, and your other, other neighbors become irrelevant, if not irrelevant, minor to the benefit that you have in coming together. A former province of Ethiopia, Eritrea broke away in 1993, but was back at war with his southern neighbor five years later when a border dispute sparked fighting. They signed a peace agreement in July, but stability in the Horn of Africa depends on it lasting. Ndundu Sitole, SABC News, Johannesburg.